4-H. Live in Adams County, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. Jamie, I, I would like to know who you're working with that brought that big fan, because I never get the big fan when I go out there. And boy, did you need it. Oh, man, hot out there. I know you have 99, but the record today was 98, and out of DIA, we made it to only 97, so one degree away from the record. And tomorrow, we may reload again. The record tomorrow is 99, and I'm going for 98, so we might miss it by one degree again tomorrow. We were hoping the clouds would have moved in earlier and cooled things down, but we've still got sunshine from Denver up to Fort Collins here. You live uh, up in uh, Estes Park. you got a little shower coming through, uh, a little weak thunderstorms. That's pretty good. You've had a, a rough uh, couple of weeks with these big thunderstorms up there. That one's a small one. From Highlands Ranch down towards uh, Colorado Springs, we're filling in the clouds over Douglas County and part of Jefferson County with these storms coming in. So if you live on the south side, you may get a little bit of rain out of there. Big thunderstorm going on from uh, south of West Creek all the way down into Teller County here. We got a severe thunderstorm warning going on for 60 mile per hour winds from Chapita Park into Divide Woodland Park here. And just as we come to you here, you see that green outline there? That is a flash flood warning there. So this storm probably has about one to two inches of rain an hour going on. And the purple shading you see there, that's Hail, so you could see quarter inch size hail out of the storm down there until 645 there just south of uh, the Buffalo Creek area down there in Teller County. Woo -hoo. Bigger storms have been blossoming up down south as well. A flood advisory going on south of Canyon City here. Same deal. One to two inches of rain in about an hour. That goes until 815 for Fremont County down there and a whole slew of flood advisories on the south side of the Uncompahgre, south of Telluride, all the way down to just uh, outside of Hinsdale County down there. Same deal. Heavy, heavy rain uh, along some areas of small creeks, streams, urban areas, highway streets and under underpasses. And just within the last few minutes, another flood advisory south of Cortez till 915 in Montezuma County. That primarily is for um, the Mesa Verde National Monument, which is down in uh, that area. National Park, I should say, down there. It could have some flooding on the park. A lot of moisture coming in on top of a high pressure ridge over Arizona. This high will slowly start to move east tomorrow, bringing in more heat and then further east on the weekend, and that may help to tap into some monsoon moisture. So here we go tonight. We have clearing skies going on as these storms move out early tomorrow morning. Maybe a few sprinkles out west, but you could see the cloud cover and the monsoon moisture coming in out west. So a better chance of storms there we will have an increasing chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon tomorrow. But before that happens, we're going to get hot around here. Temperatures will be in the 80s and 90s to near 100 across the eastern plains of Colorado here. And then on Saturday, we bring it back down just a little bit. Temperatures closer to 90 around here. So passing storm mainly south tonight. Then we're looking at 99 in town tomorrow, 98 at DIA with a late day thunderstorm. And then looking ahead for the weekend, 90 on Saturday, 40% chance of thunderstorms. You see the moisture starting to push in right into Denver and a good chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. The cold front comes in on top of that on Sunday, brings us to 84. Better chance of thunderstorms coming through. 89 on Monday with storm. And then, Michael, the heat returns Tuesday through Friday. I know by then you'll miss the 90s, so they're coming back. They're not going away. All right, Dave. Wouldn't want to be gone for too long. Uh -huh. Thanks so much. Romy being in with sports tonight.